Hey, what's up guys? Good to be uh, back with you. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how to choose a baseball sports sim. And I think the big question here is what to do with all of the choice that's out there. So um, unlike how things were back, uh, say, in uh, even the 1980s, there is so much choice among baseball board sims today that it can be pretty overwhelming. If you're new to the hobby, if you don't have much experience, if you don't know the difference between the brands, there's a lot of stuff to sort of get into and a lot of stuff to think about. Now, the most obvious place to start still, even after all these decades, is to talk about the Stratomatic and the APA side of things, right? Strat Automatic with a 50-50 system, APA with a somewhat more simplified system, unless you're playing the master game and unless you're using certain innovations and it, it gets to be kind of complicated. But there are other choices out there as well. Um, I'm not going to give you a lot of uh, answers in this uh, in terms of saying like what you should play or what you shouldn't play um, because that would uh, surely start a major uh, flame war on here. But I'll give you some ideas on how to look and how to do some research. So. Uh, um, we go over here to uh, our uh, monitor, our screen. Um, I did a ser search in Google, and I'm using Mulvad uh, browser to get rid of any sort of uh, cookies, any sort of records that I've had before in Google. I did a search here for uh, best baseball board sims, and I came up with this uh, board game geek uh, top 10 list. This list is uh, pretty old, 2005, and you know it's old because item number two is no longer in the database. I have no idea what um, that was, if you know, let me know. Um, as usual, I mean, he uh, <clears throat> loves Stratomatic Baseball, and you'll notice when you do this research that you get like this sort of like Stratomatic camp, like over here, and there's a lot of people in that, and they tend to be of a certain age, and then a slightly older in general camp of APA fans over there that tend to like that type of game. So know that when one person says Stratomatic's number one, you will also find other people who say, no, APA should be number one. And whether these companies are worth supporting. Today's another question. That's for other videos. Um, number two, no longer the database. Number three is Dynasty League Baseball, which is definitely still around and uh, which is rather complicated and in some ways is sort of like a supersized form of uh, Stratomatic. We'll talk more about Dynasty later on. Uh, Dynasty is a fascinating game, though, and very interesting. You have games like Pennant Race, which might be interesting, as he says here, if you want to complete an entire schedule in a matter of hours with um, a few rolls in the dice, right? Some of these I've never heard of Monday Morning Manager. Let me know about that if you know more of it. I've never seen an advertisement for this, so this is interesting. MLB Showdown, I believe, is not um, uh, supported anymore. That's the uh, CCG um, uh, game, which I think uh, only had a couple of seasons overall. I'm not sure if I'm going to find much here. Yeah, 2000 and 2001. I'm not sure if there's much more. Maybe 2002. It says here maybe even up to 2005. I'm not aware of exactly how much um, uh, was created for this game, but I do know that um, it's uh, no longer really a thing. Um, and then we have Sports Illustrated Baseball, which is a game that a lot of people know and which I believe, and you guys are going to have to help me with this one, but I believe has been updated um, and uh, uh, has a much more sort of robust version that's available. I have not played it yet. MLB Sports Clicks, I've never heard of. I have no idea why this is on here. It doesn't look like it necessarily belongs. And then there is Ballpark Baseball, which is very difficult to find um, and uh, which is highly praised and which, uh, at least according to legend, was the game that uh, Bill James played um, while he was uh, first studying baseball, either in college or in his um, early security, card, uh, security guard days. We'll talk more about ballpark baseball a little bit later on as well. But of course, I mean, Board Game Geek might not necessarily be the best place to look, right? There's a whole bunch of other, you know, threads that we can look at, other top 10 lists that have a lot of, you know, sort of similar names on it. Replay Baseball, which I guess in 2005 wasn't big enough for this guy to know much about replay baseball's come back right and again we have games i don't know too much about i've heard a little bit about uh, pizza box baseball status pro i know um and uh like dead ball i've heard about and then some of these like i don't know too much about them or they're not really technically sims right and so on and so forth we can keep going down some of these people talk a lot about like history maker baseball i hear a lot of things from uh, people on uh this uh, youtube uh, channel about so all sorts of uh, different things that you can look at but I'm not so convinced that like Board Game Geek is the best place to go. Really, if you're looking for this type of information, 
I would recommend probably uh, starting off um, on some place like the Tabletop Sporum on uh, Delphi. Tabletop Sports uh, Forum is um, a rather old form. It's been around for uh, quite some time. Um, and as much as I despise Delphi forums, um, there's good information on here. So I did a quick search and came up with um, this uh, thread. People were talking about the best baseball board game and people claim to do all sorts of uh, research on this. People talk about replay baseball, which we will also talk about uh, further in the future. I've actually never played replay baseball, but that will change um, soon. Ball classic baseball payoff pitch, which I don't think was on those lists that we looked at before, but that's another one that people talk a lot about um, and so on and so forth. Right. And you can see that, I mean, this thread contains so many comments and so many posts and so many other things. It would take a long time to sort of go through this and figure out exactly what it is that you want to see. Now, there's a lot of stuff that kind of goes into this, right? And the biggest one is what is the game flow like for baseball? Because there are a bunch of games with a bunch of different concepts and ideas ideas behind them. Fortunately, on YouTube, there are people who are kind enough to do sort of how to play videos. And you can find that for all sorts of games, including stuff like Skeetersoft MP3, uh, the uh, theoretical board game I play. I play it on, on the computer, but you can go find my uh, quick video on how to play that. Um, and you'll find out how to play Replay, how to play Appa, how to play Stratomatic, and how to play a bunch of other games, right? So there's a lot of stuff you can do to sort of research things. Now, if you're talking about accuracy, realism, that's where things become a little bit complicated because you need to look theoretically at a very large number of replays thanks to random number genera uh, generation and how that works. Um, and uh, you also have to ask yourself um, some questions about like what is reasonable and what is not, right? For example, if you're playing APA, the basic game, and fielding averages end up being off, is that something that you're going to be okay with or is that something Something that is just like a non-starter and you can't touch it, right? Um, similarly, uh, if you're playing Stratomatic, uh, the basic Stratomatic game with cards and dice and a guy who uh, never hit a home run in real life winds up with one on the pitcher's card, right? I don't remember if the game tells you to do anything with that if, if it comes up, but assuming you're just playing what the card says, right? Is that the sort of thing that will destroy the game for you or not? That's the other sort of thing that you kind of have to think about, like how much do you care about really granular details or do you just not care about it? at all and you just you just want to go after and want to play so there you go that's, that's sort of an idea of how you can start trying to uh, fix this problem the pr other problem you'll run into is that you won't really get a real feel for how a game plays if you're only playing like a dozen or two or three games with it right it takes hundreds upon hundreds of games to start really getting a feel for the flow the uh, positives and negatives of a game and to get an idea of how much you actually like it and how much you don't right so so this is one of the reasons why I have such a large emphasis on trying to do major replay projects so that we can play through these games and be able to come up with a uh, review of them that, you know, is more than just the basic mechanics of the game. It can talk about what it feels like and things that you notice over time, right? For example, uh, pitchers uh, bunting um, in Skeetersoft with a runner on third base who end up rolling a 13 will have this runner thrown out almost all the time. I don't remember, and I still have to look this up to see if um, uh, APA is the same way or not. That sort of thing, uh, if you're playing a couple dozen games, might not make a difference, but if you're playing hundreds of games in the dead ball era, you'll start noticing this, and you'll be like, this is awful right trying to play it the right way but um, when i play it the right way this weird thing happens so just one example among many same thing happens even with computer games when you play otp and uh, you end up learning what all the foul ball animations look like um, it starts to become really tiring now imagine trying to play 1200 games like that in the 3d mode and you'll think maybe not so that's the sort of thing that is really hard to kind of like tease out after a few dozen games but once you start really getting rolling you're like yeah maybe i don't want to play that one as my main board game so just an idea let me know down below what you think um if especially if there are games that we have missed which would we almost certainly have and if there's any advice that you might have to somebody who's trying to do this research and trying to find something again i'm not going to take a standpoint saying that this is the best game everybody everything else is um uh, everything else is inferior right what i think is more valuable is to look and try to figure out how to go about choosing the best game for you. And we'll leave it at that. I'll talk to you uh, again tomorrow. Bye-bye.